Hey guys, I'm here at Target. It's a new month and they have a ton of new skincare in. I'm so excited, let's check it out. Well, it looks like we have an up and up version of Aveeno's Daily Moisture Lotion, which I really like. It's a nice lightweight, fragrance-free, hydrating moisturizer with, oops, let's play dominoes with it, with dimethicone, a skin protectant, as well as oat flour, which is hydrating and protective of the skin barrier. This is one of my favorites though here at uh, Target. The Advanced Repair Unscented Body Lotion works really well on the face and the body. $349. Then they have the Up and Up version of Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant. This I believe have, has fragrance in it, but I do actually really like the way that smells. And this I haven't seen. It's the Up and Up version of CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, $9.99. The Up and Up prices are much better in comparison to like Walgreens or CVS store brands. And then their petroleum jelly I've used and it works just as well as Vaseline. But look, $2.69 for seven and a half ounces versus $4.69 for name brand Vaseline. I would love it if Up and Up came out with the Oliver Body Balm Stick because this is really good. I like having this on hand to put on my hands. It's really a great product. Excellent if you are prone to chafing, irritation. $7. Yeah, we need an up and up version of that. We also need an up and up version of the mini because who doesn't love a good mini to carry with you on the go? $2.99. Looks like Curology has a new liquid pore exfoliant with 2% BHA, which is salicylic acid, and then a blend of alpha hydroxy acid and polyhydroxy acid. So gluconolactone is a polyhydroxy acid. They're very gentle exfoliants that are also hydrating. And what is the alpha hydroxy acid? Oh, okay, so lactic acid. Lactic acid is good if you have keratosis pilaris, rough and bumpy skin on the cheeks. But then of course, salicylic acid and to a certain extent the alpha hydroxy acids can help with cutting down on pore clogging and also good for lightening dark spots. Target also has the Nizerol anti-dandruff shampoo 1% ketoconazole. This actually shows promise for slowing down androgenetic alopecia because A, it's anti-inflammatory and it helps cut down on the burden of the dandruff contributory yeast malassezia, but also ketoconazole has some anti-androgen effects that may be beneficial in slowing down miniaturization. Um, then they also have this non-medicated pre-shampoo scalp buildup remover. Um, oops, did I knock the other one down? Used before treating with Nizerol anti-dander shampoo. I guess the idea here is to kind of exfoliate the scalp of dead oily buildup, dead cells and oily buildup to allow for better penetration of the active ingredient. But instead of that, um, Shea Moisture has a pre-shampoo dandruff treatment that is salicylic acid. I think that would be a better option. Basically takes advantage of a short contact therapy and could exfoliate some of that oily buildup. And it's also an anti-dandruff ingredient. And then you get out and you could shampoo it out with a true anti-dandruff shampoo. Just make sure you let the lather sit on the scalp for a couple of minutes to really let it soak in to the scalp. Um, for example, this anti-dandruff shampoo from Neutrogena has salicylic acid in it. This is fragrance free, I believe. This is new, FutureWise Slug Balm, capitalizing off of the trend of slugging, which you can do with Aquaphor or petroleum jelly. Um, it's a good option for dry skin, but some people with acne prone skin or rosacea find it aggravates their skin, but uh, this has hydrogenated vegetable oil, Bisabolol, which is anti-inflammatory. So kind of capitalizing off of using an occlusive, but you have to ask yourself, would you rather pay $24.49 for their slug bomb or well, what did we say? $4.99 or the up and up version $2.99 or whatever for just plain petroleum jelly. Um, then they also have a slug cream barrier repair moisturizer. This has ceramides, which are good for 
helping to improve production of your skin ceramides. Evening primrose oil may be anti-inflammatory. Dimethicone tends to be comfortable on the skin, uh, not as heavy or oily in comparison to petroleum jelly. Then they have a hydrating mist. You could spritz on. This isn't necessary, but it does have um, moisturizing ingredients. Polyglutamic acid is helpful for moisturizing and for improving skin elasticity. Then hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate and glycerin also help with water retention. Then you'd seal that in with a lightweight or lightweight moisturizer and then maybe come on over with more of an occlusive balm. But man, that is an expensive moisturizing routine right there. $75 basically. When you could just put, I don't know, a little moisturizer in petroleum jelly on your face. I bought this a while ago, the Naked Sundays Mineral Sunscreen. It was pretty casty, but, um, and a little on the drying side, if I remember correctly. They also have a stick. It's gonna fall over. SPF 50 stick. This is an organic, aka chemical sunscreen. Shouldn't leave a cast. You do want to do multiple passes and then physically rub it in with your hands. Cockadoo Plum. I had a bad experience with that in another sunscreen, but uh, it may have anti-inflammatory properties. Then they have this Cabana Cream 2099. That doesn't seem too bad for an SPF 50 hydrating moisturizer with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Niacinamide is a good ingredient to have in sunscreens because it's an antioxidant and it also helps with the skin barrier and it helps ward off hyperpigmentation and redness. This is an organic sunscreen. It shouldn't leave a cast. Interesting. I might like to give that a go sometime. The mineral one wasn't too bad, but it was a little casty and kind of on the drying side. They really have this set up just so, like, it's like dominoes. The shelf is like not entirely, I know it's going to fall, but Tree Hut is not playing around. Look at all of the new scents. Dragon fruit, not one for the sugar scraws, but everything I have tried from Tree Hut, I have been very happy with. Their body wash is nice. I like this Coco Colada one. It rinses off really easily. Obviously it's fragrance, but they're really nice body washes. They're not drying or irritating. They have a nice scent, but it's not super strong. It doesn't linger, but it's pleasant to use. I wish they came out with more of the shave oils. Those are my favorite in these different scents that they come out with the sugar scrubs. Speak of the devil. Yeah, they need to come out with more scents in these shave oils. I'm gonna try Coco Colada because I just finished one. I think I'll buy it today. Um, pineapple and coconut. These are really good. I have been so impressed with them. Ooh, what's the scent? Moroccan Rose. I might have to try that at some point. We've got a new packaging of it, it looks like. One of y'all said you really like the coconut lime. I might sprig for that. This is one of my favorites, the watermelon. Then it looks like Beloved has new stuff. Their shower and bath gel. I might have to give this a try sometime, see how it is, because pineapple and papaya, that does sound good. Watermelon and mint mojito. I wonder if these are like really, really strong. Let's make sure they don't have methyl isothiazolinone, which is a common allergen I try and avoid. No, they don't. They do have bergamot oil though, which is an essential oil that Technically, when it comes in contact with the light, it can give you a phytophotodermatitis, but I'm under the impression that when it comes to that ingredient in skincare brands, they remove the photosensitizing components. And they even have a body mist. I haven't mentioned this in a while, but this is a really good salicylic acid cleanser from Cetaphil. If you wanna try salicylic acid, but you've always found that it's like too drying, maybe you have really sensitive skin, um, because it's like a really nice creamy formula. It's not drying at all, free of fragrance. It has compounds from white tea, which are anti-inflammatory. 
Their Micronized Benzoyl Peroxide Cleanser is also good, 2.6% benzoyl peroxide, good for acne as well as body odor, um, although you might want to go with a higher strength for body odor purposes. Yeah, I, I recommend using like 5 or 10% benzoyl peroxide wash under the arms to the feet, let the lather sit on there for a bit and then rinse it off. It cuts down on the bacteria that break down sweat and lead to body odor. Whoa, look, Cetaphil got a new look. What do you guys think of their new packaging on their daily facial cleanser? I kind of like this font. It's easier to read. In comparison to this older font, this kind of looks like a table in a textbook. <laughs> Whereas this is a little bit more easy, easy on the eyes. Benzoyl peroxide is an ingredient that actually can work as a spa treatment, like if all of a sudden you get a pimple and you want it to go away fast. It won't go, over, go away overnight, um, but benzoyl peroxide can help it to heal a bit faster. Um, it cuts down on the acne causing bacteria, but if used to the entire face, it can reduce future breakouts. Now this one from Up and Up is a great option actually. It's free of fragrance and it's similar to Neutrogena's on the spot acne treatment. Um, when I did my Up and Up product review video, I reviewed this. It's really good. Speaking of spot treatments, this is new from Hero Cosmetics, a 2% salicylic acid acne treatment. Salicylic acid can also work as a spot treatment, but again, if used to the entire face, works better for um, preventing breakouts in the future. This also has lactic acid, which helps to exfoliate the skin surface, as well as improve moisture retention. Niacinamide is good for acne prone skin as well. Hero Cosmetics has a lot of good formulas. Like I really like their Rescue Balm for once a pimple has gone away and it's healed with like flaky dry skin. This is a good option. This is new from Coco Kind, a clay mask. I haven't seen before. Clay is helpful if you have oily skin. It helps remove some oil from the skin surface. It's also, it also can be helpful if you have sebaceous filaments. I tried some products from Coco Kind a few years ago and one of them really irritated my skin. But this looks promising. Bentonite and kaolin are the clays and then glycerin is moisturizing. Oh, check it out. They have a new retinol body cream with ceramides. Ooh, and it's got this less plastic packaging setup. Let me know if you've tried any products that come like this. Is this easy packaging to use? or does it create a hindrance? This looks promising, no fragrance. Shea butter, how much is it? $21.99, hmm. It, have to, it has to have a really nice texture for me to choose this over, over the Gold Bond one because the Gold Bond one is like half the price and also has urea and niacinamide and a peptide. Check it out, you guys. NYX has a sunscreen primer, SPF 30 blurring primer. I might have to give this a try sometime. Is it tinted? Organic sunscreen, aka chemical. Hmm, interesting. They have the ingredients behind the sticker, which I don't want to peel off for fear of ruining it for someone else. A lip bar. It's a pretty color. These NYX eyeshadow palettes are really good. It looks like they came out with a new version of it with these little impressions. Oh, there's a little tiger paw. That's cute. Maybe I'll get this, except it has a lot of glittery shades, which I don't end up using. The lip bar is buy one, get one, 25% off. But maybe that's just the lip care items. They have a makeup remover balm. Y'all know I'm a big fan of makeup remover balms. This looks promising. Sodium hyaluronate is hyaluronic acid. Sunflower seed oil. Hmm, jojoba seed oil. $16.99. I definitely don't need any more lip balms, but I'm always tempted. Set the tone finishing powder. 
Just said, I don't need any more lip balms, lip glosses, but how fun is this? Rainbow. These look like a lot of fun. This one's like a lavender. It's backlit. But it kind of, it's like separating out, but it's got glitter in it. Looks like Alme has a makeup remover that I have not seen before. Alme has some good stuff. This looks promising. No fragrance. Trey Hello's Sunflower Seed Wax. $10.99 for this. A foundation here. Smooth, hydrate, and protect. This has niacinamide in it, which is good for cutting down on redness, hyperpigmentation, and also cutting down on oxidative stress. No fragrance. That looks promising as a makeup product for sensitive skin. Ooh, looks like Pantene has some Miracle Rescue Intensive Bond Repair Mask. Pantene gets a lot of shade, but the shampoo has always worked out well for me. Like, I don't know what people have against it. It's always worked well for me. I might have to give this a try at some point. Well guys, Target did not disappoint. They had a great selection yet again. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, On the End Slate is gonna be my last Target Shop With Me video. You definitely wanna check that one out if you missed it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.